In the last video, we talked about how to link an external style sheet. And that, would, that was simply using what we call the link tags, as you see here. Now, you can actually use the CSS in another way, which is just using it directly onto the HTML document. And all you simply have to do is actually put this style tag within the head tag of the document. And the reason why we want to do that is because we want to put the style before anything that loads on the screen. So let's say we load the, the document before um, the CSS file or the CSS code. Well, what happened, each element will be loaded onto the screen, although this is a very quick process and the user will not exactly see this, but the elements will load on the screen before anything else. And then once the document reaches the cascading style sheets or the CSS, the document will reload those elements and then place the CSS on those specific elements. So what that does is basically you're loading the elements taking them off and then reloading them with the new CSS, which is redundant and not necessary and can slow down your web page. And this is extremely noticeable when you, have to, when you have large CSS files. But when you have small CSS files, the speed difference is very minimal. So it's always best to use external style sheets, but you can also use style tags to, to use CSS in a quick shorthand way when using um, HTML documents. So what you do is create the style tag within the head tag of the document. And what you do is put the CSS code directly within the style tag. So let me show you the document that we have right now. So what we have right now is this very boring plain CSS page, uh, HTML page, my bad. And what we want to do is give it some styling. So you know, a major one that we're going to do is just uh, put the H1 tag as we learned earlier, oh sorry, h1 uh, using the type selector, which is just the h1 tag, and then we're going to change the color of that header. So we're going to say color is going to be red, and now we could update the page and see what happens. As you can see, now the CSS styling is now updated with the new CSS styling. I know that was a little redundant what I just said, but the idea is that we repeated the process by using CSS onto the HTML document instead of using CSS from an external document. And the only issue with this is that it can slow down your web page. So let's say you're reusing CSS code on multiple web pages. Um, it's best to use an external style sheet for that. How, because if let's say you load the page and since we don't know or the browser doesn't know there is CSS styling for the page until the page is loaded, that redundant styling can um, slow down the web page when it can be stored in your browser when it's an external style sheet. So all in all, if you really have to use the style tags, use them, but it's always best to use an external style sheet.